Welcome to my channel, Original Lady Eve Elements. We're going to be doing a sign of Capricorn, looking and getting some insight into the love realm for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, Jupiter. Okay, those who have Capricorn and Jupiter, um, or, or Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn, excuse me. Been doing read, private readings all day as well, and I have some rituals that I gotta do. Um, if you like to book a personal reading, or if you like a ritual done, like a hex removal or cleansing ritual, you can contact me via the information in the description box below. If there are any scammers out there, ignore they ass, they fake as fuck. I'm the realest bitch there is. And there ain't no other, okay? Because I keep it T.I. real. I don't need to curse all the time to get my point across. Know this. I will tell you this. If you're serious about your shit, I'm serious about mine. Point, period, point blank. If you're serious about your shit, I'm serious about mine. Okay, so. First things first. We're going to get to this Capricorn reading. Hit that thumbs up, that bell notification. Be notified of upcoming content on the channel. Okay. What else I need to tell you? Capricorn, I sent you drawing a blank slate when it comes to a certain situation in your life right now. I saw that card because I know you've seen it. Yep, it flew right the fuck out. Give me a second. do a paper situation and some papers oh, Lord have mercy. you could be dealing with a situation or some papers maybe it's marriage papers you're getting married rapidly or some shit oh a uh, mexican marriage just like they do the mexican divorces no offense to my latinos um something's happening happening I'm hearing on a grand scale at a fast pace with you Capricorn. If it ain't happening now, it's coming within the next three to six months. Something to deal with paperwork. So again, that comes back to that. You may be getting married. And instead of the big, uh, for the single Capricorns, those that are single and you're dating. So you will be in a situation where you've known this person for quite some time person may have asked you to marry them and you put it off and said no or vice versa or however it goes someone told someone no they're not ready to marry yet someone's got cold feet you don't want to marry somebody either way i mean y'all still together but that was a channel message let's see what these messages have okay yeah yeah, something's happening real fast with you, Capricorn. Calling the storm. Something's going on. I'm feeling and sensing an urgency as well as an irritation. So, let's go on. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, and Jupiter. Ooh, perchance to a dream. Why am I getting some of you maybe having uh, bad dreams, nightmares? Uh, some of you may be having bad dreams and nightmares of dead people coming to you. Some of you don't dream at all. That means your mind is at a standstill. This one is right. Uh, yep. Yeah, right, what the hell? Number 27, fragmentation reverse. Number 28. So you got 27 and 28. Mm. So your dreams are coming to you real clear. You need to pay attention to your dreams. It has a lot of symbolism and messages in it with regards to your love life or the situation you're going through in your love life. Now, it could be whether you're single and you're dating or whether you're in a committed relationship. I see that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else? Okay. Mm, okay. Some of you could be meditating. That's why you're receiving these dreams. Some of you, 
Capricorn are probably already following your dreams. Like, you know, when you dream something, like, for example, if you had a dream that a, a deceased ancestor came to you and was talking to you about the lotto and then you wake up and, and give you numbers in the dream or certain symbolisms, like you'll dream of the number on the door, number on the mailbox, and you figured it out and waking like that, wow, these are lotto numbers and shit like that, then you go play it. You're having dreams like this, but this is in regards to your love life. Let's see what's going on here yeah, because we have perchance to a dream mm, it's like you're being taken over in your dream state eight nine ten this breaks down into a ten one and zeros one so something's ending and something's beginning and it's showing you in your dream state with regards to the realms of love around you capricorn Something does visit you at night. And this is not an ancestor. What the fuck is this? Let me look further into this. Give me a second. Fragmentation reverse. All these moon cycles. Seven, eight, nine. Nine is also an ending one. Nine is the ending one to me is the beginning. So endings and beginnings and love. You're receiving downloads in your dreams. Be mindful of sleep paralysis. Capricorn. Be mindful of sleep paralysis. There's something going on here with you, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm hearing stone cold. Whether you're in a relationship or not, it's like you're stone cold. Amen. Something's ending and something is beginning. So you have a new chapter in love coming your way. Some of you may be going through a divorce. If not, you soon will by this time next year. We see flirt in reverse. So with this... These three cards, perchance to a dream fragmentation in the reverse with flirt. Pretty much you are not confused in your head when it comes to your love life. You do follow the symbolisms in your dream for most of you Capricorns out there. Okay, in your love life, something is ending so something new can be can start, can come in. Okay, it's like a renewal here. But I see that this is why you're also holding back your energy, Capricorn, and you're not flirting. Um, you're not extending your lighthearted energy to anybody, for that matter. Love, money, work, or life. Even though this is a love, these are the romance decks. This is a love reading here. You're not extending your lighthearted energy right now. You're receiving downloads in your dreams of a possible past uh, relationship. Something that you're going through. It's like something you're trying to figure out here with regards to either your current relationship or past relationship. But until you figure out what this is you need to do in your love life, what makes you happy, you're pu you're pulling your energy back. Calling your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate is here. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Retreat reversed. And then we have getting to know each other reverse. So it seems to me, Capricorn, that you're praying for the right person to come in. And yes, you may be out there dating, but you're not per flirting per se. Like you're getting to know other people, but you're like, your energy is a bit pulled back. Okay, you're, you're like one foot in, one foot out out the door with these people until you meet the right person you're also not really putting an effort into getting to know someone you're very analytical capricorn so therefore you kind of tend to look at people sideways that's the way i'm gonna call it is you be looking at people sideways all right you don't put your energy into everything because you don't trust everybody hmm there's definitely something to do with your dream. It just keeps pointing to your dream state. 
something in your dream state just pay attention to your dreams write it down in a journal if you have to it has a lot to do with you calling in your soulmate as well as not it's like you're pulling back your energy because you're you're very you're hypersensitive some of you have some of you cappies out there you are hypersensitive to your environment when you step into a room you can feel the energy so that applies to also when you're out there dating if you're out there dating because some of your home bodies but if you out there dating or when you bump into somebody and y'all go and get coffee or you chill at a library or what however you do it to get to know someone you're really not getting to know anybody you're really not flirting but you are out and about so you are meeting people but your energy is contained pretty much like this person or these individuals that you go out hang out with go out to meet they're an open book whereas you're a closed book you pretty much closed yourself off capricorn let's get into this okay you know what oh okay i see what it was capricorn sun moon rising venus north node lilith and Jupiter. capricorn sun moon rising Venus, North Node, Lilith, and Jupiter. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn. What is this perchance to a dream? Fragmentation, reverse, and flirt. Oh my God, my child's so rude. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Perchance to a dream. Fragmentation, reverse, and flirt, reverse. Yeah, you're not... You're pretty much clear on that. You already have it made up in your mind. You do not want to flirt. And the two of pentacles fell on my lap. <laughs> there's some indecision here. And there's some spying going on. I see the page of swords wanting to peek out here. Ooh, rushing in to communicate. Either this is an argument or someone trying to tell you like a TIE. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, oh, my God. Sorry, people. I have a long day ahead of me. Now, maybe yawning, but I ain't tired. For chance to a dream for Capricorn, fragmentation reverse and flirt reverse. Yeah, we have fragmentation and flirt reverse along with per chance to a dream. You're pretty much, oh, you're in a funk, Capricorn, due to this Leo. And you don't have to be a Leo. Something about stability in your home. What is going on with you, Cappy? Card. Something to do with a love offering? Okay, I see two people across the board. Okay, let's look at that. We got the four cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Usually it's like someone rejecting and not accepting something. But in the reverse, there's acceptance here. Acceptance of what? Let's look into this. Accepting defeat. I hope not, Cappy. Really. This 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 Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo, let me see. Sun and Leo. This person likes lizards. I see that. He like cats too. But very controlling, very demanding. Good head on the shoulder. Business acumen. Very good business acumen. This individual right here, this fire sign. Doesn't have to be a Leo, but it is because there's the Leo right there. See the lion? See the chair? Look closer. Yeah, exactly. That's a Leo. Okay, and then we got the sun in reverse, Leo. So most of you Capricorns out there, you're dealing with a Leo energy here, male or female. This person, or you could be honing this energy, or, may, or you may be a Capricorn with Leo heavy aspected in your chart. Someone is depressed. Someone's not happy. They're very depressed. And it has a lot to do with their finances. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. There's a lot of money going out the house and not enough coming in. All right. The stability of the home is very rocky right now because of a lot of money that's been going out and drips and drabs to little things, certain bills you may be having. 
Oh, you probably didn't hear me. Certain bills, certain payments that need to be made. All right. You're containing your emotions over this as well. Why is this fucking money read? Okay. So basically someone's depressed about an offer being made. They're not ready possibly to accept this offer due to the instability in their home. There's financial instability in your home. Uh, Cappy. And there's an offer coming in. All right. An offer of money. An offer of love. Someone here loves you very much or you may be in love with someone very much but you this person holds their emotions back pisces cancer scorpio this their emotions are in that chalice and they're not letting their emotions be known but they have a lot of love here capricorn one foot in the water one foot on the land they're very spiritual this individual is highly intuitive Okay, and if this is not you, this is someone that is your significant other or your partner that you're dealing with. Capricorn, that consents. You're depressed. Okay. They sense this. But this person does love you. Be mindful, though. Because um, this could be a fake love offer due to that fish. Or you could be depressed because you're pregnant with child. Capricorn. There could be some depression here. So that's why you keep having these dreams or either these nightmares or dream paralysis could be going on here. Uh, this is far off the board, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So someone who you were messing with, right? That gave you this love offer, offered you this money. They, This person created instability in your home. And this does pertain to your love life. This person came in with an offer of love, but they were being fake the whole fucking time. Maybe you were giving this person money or they were giving you money. Either way, it created instability in your finances and now you're depressed about it. You should have took control over this matter before it got out of hand for most of you cappies out there. This person only wanted sex. That's why they came in with that offer. And then they left. So the person you were dealing with was flighty. This is for you single cappies out there. For those in relationship, your spouse is depressed over money. So be mindful how you spend your money trying to buy a special gift for your spouse. Okay? Or your spouse is trying to buy you something because you're depressed, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates, but someone's not happy here and they're depressed in a depressed state right now this it's not long lasting this type of depression is just sad over financial issues here financial issues are affecting your love life as we speak okay and someone may want to take you out on a date but there will be sex involved i'm gonna let you know right now um So if you don't want no kid, wrap it up. Or if y'all already have kids and you don't want no more, wrap it up. All right, what is calling in your soulmate retreat reverse? Getting to know each other reverse? Holy Spirit, what is calling in your soulmate reverse? Retreat reverse? Getting to know each other reverse for Capricorn? We got the justice card up. So there's a need for you to balance out your situation right now, Capricorn, with whatever's going on. Here's that fire sign. Right now, you're looking very beautiful. <laughs> you're showing up as the Queen of Wands, Capricorn. But you could be dealing with someone who's in this energy. What is the calling in your soulmate? Retreat reversed getting to know each other reverse yeah here we go again with that six of swords there's a love offer coming in at a distance from someone who works at a, at the courts if they don't work as a lawyer or a judge or a court stenographer court secretary court manager let me show you something I see you moving away to calmer waters with this fire sign, Cappy. 
This could be for you male Capricorns out there. You may be at a distance from a fire sign. I see you coming in to offer this cup of love. Look at you treading your little whore. Look, look at that. Do, 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 do. Okay, you're gonna you want to bring stability and balance in this person's life. Male Capricorns who have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in mind. Yes, they're very much single. You Capricorn man, you anyway, <laughs> you want to bring stability and balance to this person's life, okay? Because with the getting to know each other in reverse and retreat, you are out. Oh, that's why you're out and about, okay? That's why you're traveling at a distance, moving into calmer waters to offer this love to this fire sign. You, you want balance in your situation in your love life. Okay, you, you see this fire sign as your soulmate, so you on your way. I'm going that way. I don't get that. <laughs> okay, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you got a lot of options, but you also are confused of what to do next. You, you need some clarity. You need to go meditate, Capricorn. <laughs> Anything else Capricorn needs to know? Yeah, you're a little bit confused because you need healing. And you see that fire sign as just star. Look at you trying. You slow You slow to offer this, though. You moving slow. You're coming up as the Knight of Pentacles. But I also see you slowly healing as well. Okay. Could have been some sort of disease that you had or something. Or not disease. I won't say that. I'm sorry. Okay. Cups is here. Um... You could be healing from an alcohol addiction. Okay, I see it. You're doing good if you are. Yeah, something you're not seeing clearly with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. That's why you're moving slow to offer that to that fire sign. I see it. Show me more if I get to the other cards. For Capricorn, what else does Capricorn need to know? Yeah, so you watching. So you're slowly delaying the process to offer this to this fire sign because you being nosy right now. You peeking. You watching the social media page? Stop stalking. We see you. You're making sure. Okay. You want to be sure. So that's why you stalking and watching. Okay, I see this. Okay, I just seen something. So, for the male Capricorns out there that got their eye on a fire sign female, why are you making fake pages on social media? I see it. The Seven of Cups would be different identities on social media. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You, uh, What they call that? Catfishing? But this is you, Capricorn man. <laughs> Before you proceed to move forward with the fire sign. You making fake profiles, asking questions through the profiles. Because you want to have victory and success. Because where you at right now, Capricorn, there's no stability. Where you at, there's no stability in your home setting. You have no money or finances, or your finances and money are low. And you helping to have the victory with this fire sign. Hoping and praying she accepts your, your love offer. So you up at night, aren't you? Mmm, stressing. Ooh, okay, that's for the male Capricorns. I seen that. Could be female. Take it where it apply. But there's a fire sign, Cappy. Y'all got your eye on. Ooh, wee -oo. I'm just <laughs> Ooh, wee -oo. Okay, so Holy Spirit, any messages we have for our Earth baby Capricorn? Okay. Earth sign Capricorn. Any messages, Holy Spirit, for the Earth sign of Capricorn? This Saturday, I swear, it feels like a fucking Sunday. Oh, my God. Like, literally...
Capricorn, no matter what, keep your focus. Keep your focus. Okay, sweetie? Keep your focus. I know how y'all can feel down in the dumps. Try to listen to some inspirational tapes. Try to listen to positive music that'll make you feel good. Um, also, change your diet. Eat a lot of red apples, too, sometimes. That There's a chemical in the brain um, that when it's not present in certain cells in the brain, I ain't no damn doctor. All I know is that there's a certain chemical in your brain could be low or it could be missing. That same chemical found in your brain is found in the skin of red, deep, dark red apples. Eat that. Okay? It'll heal your depression if you in it. Yeah, because your past relationship, you were being used. Who are you being used by? Oh, my God, for real. Someone born, yeah, the goat was using you, Capricorn. This is not for everybody, so it may not resonate with everybody, these messages. Okay, thank you. Who's from Ohio? Anyway, any messages, spirit for Capricorn? Remember, I'm reading for people on a grand scale. Know your worth. Value yourself, Capricorn. Didn't I just say change your damn diet? <laughs> change your diet, Capricorn. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hold on, wait, wait. You are very valuable. You're very intelligent, Capricorn. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Fuck everybody else. Okay, you is just as smart as fucking Taurus. If, if not even smarter. Okay? Show your smartness and your brilliance. Be mindful. You have jealous friends around you, Capricorn. Especially around your love life. Someone that's jealous is Jamaican. Or of Jamaican descent. Or their parents came from Jamaica when they were little and then it brought them. You get what I'm saying? Someone's baby daddy is using black magic. And this could be for you female Capricorns while you're feeling so fucking anxious. Your kid's father, your own husband is using fucking black magic. In which way, I'm not sure. If you feel in that way, book a personal reading with me. For those that can't afford my readings, okay, I do do reading sales every Saturday and Sunday. You have a beautiful soul, Capricorn. Know this. You're beautiful. I saw that card for real. Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn? Ooh. What is this? It says, I'm secretly bisexual, pretending to be straight. And this is from a man's point of view. A man. Secretly bisexual, but he pretending to be straight. What is wrong with people hiding their fucking selves? And this motherfucker goes out there and has orgies with other men. This person may have been in rehab before or previously. For you, you protect it from COVID-19. What other messages, Holy Spirit, for the Capricornian collection? Okay. Someone has short, wavy, dark brown hair. That's protected from COVID-19. They're 36 to 46, and they are a male. All right. You're also dealing with someone from Chicago. Or you could be in Chicago. This person is a bitter bum. It's an ex of yours. It may not resonate with all of those. Someone is also from New Mexico who also could be a bitter bum. A bitter bum is a masculine energy. Um, a very jealous person. This is a baby daddy, an ex-boyfriend. It is a frenemy, ex-husband, a brother, a male cousin, a father, a uncle, a male friend. That is what a bitter bum is. Okay. Again, dealing with someone from Mexico. There's a uh, someone lives in the mountains, a country setting, or they live by the lake. Where that Mexican is. 
They drive a two-door car or vehicle or truck. This person is a dark-skinned male. This person is very selfish. There's devil energy around you. Also, representation of Capricorn and the right of weight. Someone's been using graveyard dirt. Could be that baby daddy. And someone got a reading on you, Capricorn. Any other messages for Capricorn before I switch to Tarot? Someone could be from Ohio. Someone is a stalker. They move my thumb. My thumb's so fucking big. Stalker, nosy person, spying, checking people's social media pages, phones, or tapping into your phone, trying to gather information. That's the person that's from Ohio that's stalking. All right, there's loyal, loyalty, commitment, trustworthy, and morals in this uh, love connection with you, Capricorn. So there is a bit of loyalty there. You might be dealing with someone year to ox, born year to ox. That's why that's that stubborn energy. What else is going on in the realms of love for Capricorn? What is this? There's a person with two kids, one boy, one girl, preteens or toddlers up in this mix. What else? Divine intervention is happening as we speak. So, source is taking over now. Okay, maybe things gotten out of hand in your love life or any other areas of your life. And the divine intervention is now taking place. My eyes are telling me. Okay, give me a second. Yeah. Shake your asses, face screwed up like you have a hot flash. Which one? Bitch, pick one, bitch. I'm drastic. Red from blonde, yeah, bitch. I'm drastic. Why this? Why that? Listen to me, baby. Relax and stop. Just expressway, airbag. We even do the traffic. Someone's jealous of you, Capricorn. They got their face screwed up like they having hot fucking flashes. Don't pay them no mind. Don't, don't, you know. Middle finger to the jealous haters. Okay. They need to elevate and stop worrying about what you're doing and what's going on in your backyard. All right. What messages do we have for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Lilith, and Jupiter? What current messages do we have for the collective sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Lilith, Venus, and Jupiter. You know what I thought I had, my damn. Uh, you know I get it. Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, what messages do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, and Jupiter. What messages, Holy Spirit? Do they need to see it here? Today. Okay. I'm going to take that. Take one more. Let me get one more, please. What message do we have for the collective sign of Capricorn? Thank you. Give me one more, like I asked. Ooh, I'm looking right at that card. It pulled my eyes. Okay. We got the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands here, the Lovers, hmm. Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, 
the star. Nice, okay. The star. Seven of Wands. So you got Seven of Pentacles, the star, and the Seven of Wands. Look up the number 77, angel number. We have two pages on the deck, so you could be dealing with kids in here, or you could be pregnant or getting pregnant. Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Page of Hazards is here next to the Seven of Wands. Something said flip it over now. Okay, definitely. We got the Queen of Wands again. And the Page of Wands reversed. Let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn. This has a lot to do with your stability in your home and your relationship. You're pretty much guarded, especially when it comes to making choices in your love life. Okay, you like to be the one that makes the choices first, whether you are male or female Capricorn here. You do have a content home. You're very happy in your house right now. There's a lot of opportunities with whatever choice you need to make in your partnership. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to be. But there's a creative choice that's here. You're choosing also to guard yourself and cut others off. Okay, you're investing in yourself right now as far as healing is concerned. So you're blocking, cutting other people off that don't serve your highest purpose. Uh, and this is what is making your home happy. There is a small offer being made to a fire sign here with the page of hazards and the queen of wands and the page of wands reversed. Yeah, there's an offer being made here that you're pretty much guarded with. But this fire sign definitely is bringing healing into your situation is what I'm looking at. So definitely it is a good investment. Although this fire sign as well with the crowning. Say excuse me. What is it? Can I go in You have to ask your sister, not me. Sorry guys. That's my baby, Toto. Um. With the Nine of Wands crowning the Queen of Wands. Okay, this is a lot of fire in the Page of Wands reverse. This fire sign, that is a good investment for you, Capricorn, or vice versa, is very much guarded. They don't talk a lot, all right? But I do see an exchange being made here, and it has a lot to do with your home 